Traveling Goonies Adventure Time. It's Shani M. Joseph. Hi, everybody. And today we are going to discuss and tell you about the all the fruits and medicine, some that we found so far in the, well, it's all medicine because it's fruit from earthly mother that's given to us. And so I'm going to explain of what we found. And this is our bountiful collection of free food for a couple of days. Now I'm going to start with the a papaya. Look at these beautiful papayas. We have five of them and there's many trees. And where we find this is about, um, Probably about two miles from from no zero miles to about two three miles down the road. This can be all collected of all the different fruits we have um, that we can eat that mother has provided for us free of charge. And um, get off your butt and go get it. You just have to go it's collect like it. The man in the desert, you got to go get it. Okay, and Joseph is about ready to cut a coconut, and I want to tell you about the coconuts before he cuts that. He has a zombie slayer, which is probably the best thing to cut it with, and then I have Old Trusting Buck USA, which we can get into the coconuts, uh, which he's having this coconut, which is the first kind of stage, and it's this one, and it's like green, okay? And when you shake it, it's very solid and it's very heavy and there's no sound and these ones have a lot of good milk in them and they do have a nut sometimes and he's cutting it open right now and it's like the biogenic of the nut it's very thin and very like meat uh, texture and I'll show you in a minute he's cutting that one and then the best way to get them is they look kind of like as if they're rotten but they're not and listen you hear that? That means the nut is done and the coconut has formed completely and it's very sweet and it's harder. And these you just have to cut open and break open and then you will get one of these. A nut. And right through those holes is where you would puncture the hole to get the milk. And then once the milk is all drained out, you take the nut and you go to a rock and you smash it and it will break for you nice and cool. So we have four edible ones, well actually six edible ones, but at different stages. Like I said, this is the most milk and there's it makes no sound. And then this is what it looks like. Do you see how that meat is? And there's still some juice over there. And then this, as you can see, just I'm going to need you over here to put this on me. And then this, you see how it just scrapes right out. See that? Now that, hopefully you can see. Can you see that? How meaty that is. It almost looks like eggs. Almost looks like scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs texture. But it's really sweet and it's really, really, really yummy at that stage. So you can eat them. Drink the milk and eat the coconut from that stage. And it scrapes out In my light, please. Now, also, we've gotten some berries. You gotta put it on me now so I can explain. Alright. So, we have some berries that you can eat. Also, these are bitter and tart. They got a tart. Um, I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're guavas or not, but they've got those yellow ones that come in season and they're guavas. But these are tart, and they're almost like a strawberry almost, and like almost like a cherry almost, right? Yeah, kind of like a cherry. And so those are what we got also to eat. And then, right now, lemons. These are like lemons, but they also, they peel like halos. They peel, and we put them in our water. And you can like add them for flavor or whatever, because up the road also, within the three miles, there's a... Uh, water spout where you can go and people fill up their 30 40 50 gallon whatever water and it's free yeah and they fill it up so we go up there and we usually get about two of these along to come back down to our spot so we don't have to go out for a couple of days and get food uh, because it's all free and we'd rather have it free than paying right everybody likes free stuff so anywho with that said this is the local oh my flower fell this is the local honey from all these different plants. Now this one I believe is citrus, was was the bees. And he said something about a Christmas berry. I don't know what that is yet. 
but uh, it's very good. We went to the farmer's market. They have every Saturday, and they have everything there that you can buy, I mean, and different things, but we mostly go because we haven't found any beehives yet for the honey. And this big thing right here is only $15, which is a really good price, so it's really, really yummy. So now the avocado trees, this one is complete, as you can see, but we had to pick a couple because there was none that were ripe on the ground or anything like that, but we have eight of those. But they ripen, as you know, you buy in the store, you usually get them this green, and in a couple of days they'll turn like this. So, but uh, this is not even, this is a small, actually, size. Look at the size of this one. And we've had bigger ones that were, like, almost the size of this, but... It was uh, bigger than bigger that. Bigger than this. It was bigger than so that. So we've had that, and so we have avocado, too, to, to feast off. Of. Now, the greatest thing, but it's, like, really, really horrible when it's completely a mushy thing. It's called the nani, and these nanis are everywhere on a nani tree. These are very medicinal. Look it up. There's different ways you can make them. What we do is we take the skin off, and we take cut it, and it has no flavor. Um, but when it's, like I said, to the blown up, almost squishy. When it's white and squishy. Oh, God, it stinks so bad. <laughs> it's like the most putrid smell. It's like <laughs> parm cheese, like rotten, twice as much blue cheese, like... You eat it and you taste it. It's so stanky and nasty. Like we had to put so much honey in it and like to choke it down. But it's very medicinal. And we found that out because a lady was looking for the Nani factory and it's just right down the road. And we were what the hell's a Nani? You know, and I knew because we saw the sign. So I t was able to tell her. So when we were able to look up the Nani tree, we found out it's very medicinal. So the, I don't know how much, they're probably charging lots of money, but these are everywhere, bro. Everywhere. Yeah, you shouldn't so, have to buy them. Yeah, you shouldn't have to buy them. So we've got a couple of those because, like I said, they're, I don't know how to eat them yet. We haven't researched. I know that you mix them, but I'm just talking if we're supposed to eat them when they stink or if they're like this. But for now, we've been eating them just by peeling them and putting them with other things because they have no flavor. So this is our bountiful of food that we've gotten for like at least a couple of days. And we go out. Um, kind of like daily or every other couple days to try to seek food because here it's very very expensive But we just went through there was the uh, banana apple tree that just went through and that and there's a mango now growing Mangoes going out there. We haven't found any mangoes because they're just blooming um, What else is blooming right now? The, the jackal fruit is blooming right now. I believe we haven't seen that we're trying to learn the seasons of the fruits. Now, this is the beautiful big islands, and we, in, we are in Kalapana part. It's a little town, and it's by Pahoa. And the biggest, closest city is about 15, 16 miles from Pahoa. It's called Hilo. And I'm not sure if that's the capital. I think that's the capital of the big island, but um, it's not. I don't know, but just look it up. And thank you. No, no, mahalo is the right thing to say. That means thank you and aloha, I forgot to say, which is hello to begin it. But you can also say goodbye is aloha also. I believe you can use it either way, just like the Spanish thing, right? Anyways, thank you for watching. Always peace, love, and light. Yeah, was it good?